Hey y'all, welcome back to Knitting in Our Jeans. I'm Liz. I'm Carolyn. And you can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as 2 liz for you T-O-O-L-I-Z-Z-F-O-R-Y-O-U. I'm C-P-R-E-D-M-O-R -E on Ravelry and occasionally posting as Knitting in Our Jeans on Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, I, you'd think now that we're not work, I'm not working, I'd be posting constantly on Instagram and no. I'm posting even less. I don't know. Happens. I did finish Mom's mittens. Oh, good. Yes, and they're in the mail. They're in well, transit. Well, that's good, considering yes. her birthday's on Tuesday. I know. Well, they were supposed to be in transit on Thursday, but the mail person decided not to pick them up. Oh. I think it was a reconnaissance mission. Oh. <laughs> because they were picked up on Friday. Okay. Yes. And, you know, we had done all the posts. Maybe kind of maybe stuff. they had a lot of things already in their arms. And, it's you know. very possible. I'm just saying they were picked up mm -hmm. as, you know, just a day later than I thought. But, okay. but you know, yeah. it's fine. So they're in transit. She knows they're in transit. She's seen it, a picture of the ornament. Oh, good. Because I didn't want her to think that I had said I was making her something. And she then said, not do it. I thought you were making me something. Well, I was until your niece decided to, for the family to join in and buy you, you know, dinners. Then I did that for Christmas and you'll get these for your birthday. Yeah, because that way you at least, we know you're eating. She seems to like it. I don't even know what the brand that's name good. is, I don't but either. she seems to like or it. I, I do because I have it in my texts, but I don't you do? recall. Okay, yeah. that's good. Um, so I imagine we will continue funding that. So Probably. that's good. Yeah. So I was busy doing that this week. You also, yes, yes, you were very busy. I was busy finishing up some socks. I have my second matched <coughs> pair. Ow, dang it. Of, um, these are the vanilla, the reverse vanilla uh, socks that I really like. Or vanilla reverse vanilla is the new black where they have that, <laughs> um, uh, I'm going to have to try that. Diamond heel. Um, and so these are 60, these are 64 stitches on ones. Are they top with an, down? No, no, uh, I, they have both okay. top down and toe up. These are toe up. Okay. Um, for self-striping, I really like toe up because then you can decide if you want to carry the, the stripe I pattern. like toe up for no matter what. Yeah. Because that way I'm not afraid I'm going to run out of yarn at the toe. Yeah. And that's always my biggest thing. And also, because I like having a closed toe. I love having um, a closed toe. I, because I was at physical therapy when the toe opened on one of my toe top-down socks. I, I was so embarrassed. I have a tendency to be able to work my big toe out of the corner right here. That yeah. just, mm -hmm. just, and not even at the stitches, like at the, the um, Kitchener. But, like, right at the, like, row below it, but because of the Kitchener or the three-needle bind-off is there, there's a slight weakness in those, in that, like, column or something, and my big toe finds it and goes, ha-ha, I Gathering have found it. in mine let go, and so... It was, you know, first you start with mm -hmm. three stitches, and then it just let go. So then I had this run all the way down, oh. and there were my toes poking through. So, no, mm. I would match, much rather do toe up. So these are the toe-up version. Mm -hmm. um, so as I was saying, these are 64 up until the row right before I started the heel, and I increased to a 68-stitch sock. So the heel is on 34 instead of 32 stitches. Um, and I find that that makes it easier to pull it over my foot okay. while getting them on. And it also provides a slightly better fit because I find that my heel is a bit deeper Okay. I think then anticipated so what it hugs it. What size is this? This is on ones. On ones. Okay. So if you want, you can try these on before I, I head out. Um, these are the ones that my cousin actually has tried on the sock of and says that she really likes the fit of these. So I will be making a pair for her. Speaking of which, I'm wearing a pair of socks that I did for the sock up on the tour de sock. Tour de sock one year. Yeah. Um, it's a it. It reminds me of a harlequin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um. Would I make it again? Probably not, because it's top down. All of theirs. All of theirs are top down. Top and actually, down. the one that I, the one sock I did for Tour de Sock, those are the only pair of top down socks that I don't have a problem with. Isn't that interesting? Oh, yeah. that's nice. Isn't that a nice fit? That is a lovely fit. I know. All right. So I will have to try that pattern. Yeah. It is cold in this house. It is freezy. The, the wind is blowing today. I think we're at gale force winds. Uh, certainly small craft warning. 
and uh, luckily we don't have a small craft out on the water. Mm -hmm. um, but the house was built in 1956, and we had quite a discussion today. There is insulation in the walls, but the windows are also from 1956. And I think you could get a wind burn standing on this side of the windows. <laughs> Not yeah. quite that bad. You and have a hole. No, that is the loose stitch. No, no, here. that is not a hole. Oh, I don't think it's a hole. I saw that early. It okay, be a hole. I might have boarded it out. But the no, other one you is have the it on stitch. Well, you have it on both sides. On both. Oh, that you're just showing the same sock. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> anyway, we will investigate that further. Um, yeah. So anyway, the when it gets windy, this house gets cold. Really cold. I'm wearing two sweaters and a silk shirt underneath. I'm just wearing this, but I have been I under have, multiple blankets. You have I two have pairs of pants. pants. I'm free. I have I, I have been under two blankets downstairs the entire time. Well, I knew I was going to go. Oh, I've been going through boxes. We mm -hmm. are consolidating. And I think now with what I've done in the closet, or we've both done for the closet, I can get the stuff that's on the floor into the closet mm -hmm. so we won't look like who did it and ran and some of the stuff that's over in the corner. Mm -hmm. So that is excellent. Um, so anyway, I was sitting on the stairs going through box, two boxes of baby clothes, mm -hmm. deciding what to keep and what not. Um, I decided the things that were stained, they're going in the trash. Mm -hmm. um, the things, some of the things are being forwarded to my grandniece. Uh, I will actually take pictures and I'll ask my niece if she wants them. And then some, I think I may even try selling on eBay because they're obviously 67 years old. So not quite antique, but certainly old. Vintage. <laughs> vintage. They're certainly vintage. Um, and some were handmade by my mom and my grandmother. And some were bought at Garfinkel's and Lord and & Taylor's. And some of them have little tags saying handmade in the Philippines. Uh, so I know my mother didn't make them because she's never been making things in the Philippines. Um, and they're really delicate. My mother bought a lot of light white lawn or baptiste uh, she must have been a, a maniac a maniac for, for ironing is all i can think of i mean for as long as i've known her she has been uh, so can you imagine dressing a small child and these things that have to be ironed constantly anyway i found some chiffon i found organza dresses i mean the thought of ironing them makes mom break, break out, out in the hive <laughs> Um, I mean, I'd be afraid of one damaging them, but I, one dress, I know I had, I wore in a picture. Mm -hmm. We have pictures of it someplace. Um, so I'm going to talk to a friend of mine from church who's been selling things on eBay and see what she does because apparently her husband told me, so this is from the voice of the husband, that it's really easy. <laughs> and if it's that easy, I can do it too. So, and I'm up in, in town, um, twice a week pretty much so I can they have a, an eBay store there an eBay drop-off yes okay. so apparently that's what she does she gets it off and then drops it off at eBay and they do whatever okay. so that works for me uh, so I'll talk to her and see what she does and I'll start taking pictures and see if anybody wants this stuff if they don't then the stuff that's not stained that can go to Goodwill mm -hmm. um, I don't know we'll see yeah. So I wanted two pairs of pants on so I could sit in the hallway and go through the boxes. Consolidated two boxes into one. That's good. Um, some of the things I made weren't all that good. That paint dress that we saw was really it pretty It was bad. adorable, but it was awful. It didn't. It did not age well. Well, it was her preschool graduation dress. It was silk from Hong Kong that a friend of mine had bought for me while she was in Hong Kong. So nothing like pink, shocking pink, Tussa silk. It's like as pink as your water bottle was, or was as pink as your water bottle. Yes. Yeah. Um, with white lace around the collar. I think the collar edging and the special stitching I did around the hem, which you adored mm -hmm. that day, it makes it less than optimal mm -hmm. today. Anyway, that's going in the trash. Um, but your first, your kindergarten 
kindergarten graduation right dress is gorgeous. Yeah. I like that. I had made a fabric flower. Mm -hmm. and that is also a Hong Kong silk. Nothing too good for this child. I was very loved. I haven't made Hong Kong silk things for myself because I keep thinking I'm going to get smaller. And I'm working on it. So, okay. yes. I joined Weight Watchers oh, okay. after Christmas? Thanksgiving. Oh. No, no, I knew it. When Thanksgiving lasted a week, <laughs> I knew <laughs> that okay. I needed help. Um, and it's, it's cut down on the overeating. Absolutely. Um, so anyway, we, there has been progress. Uh, so far, seven pounds. Okay. Yes, yeah, seven pounds as of this past week. So that's good. So at the rate I'm going, though, it'll take me two years to lose what I want to lose. But it's okay. It's okay. Time will pass either way. Mm -hmm. I will become Sith-like. <laughs> She's laughing at me. I am. Anyway, the other thing I did was I made three pairs of curtains. Because yes. Because Richard decided he needed curtains in the basement. And I made them out of this fabric, which is like a, a roses. Like, yeah, it's like an ivory on white pattern. Yeah, with a little shine to it. And and a little gray. Yeah, I like it. So. I kind of like it too. Anyway, it's cotton. It took me three tries to get the right measurements. He said, well, I just need a little bit longer. I'm, well, that's longer, but I need a little bit longer than that. So anyway, I finally got it long enough. And they, they got hung, so three pairs of curtains, that's done. My mother's mittens are done. And then and I showed up yesterday, and my mom, and she goes, so you want to know that, that thing I wasn't talking about the last week because cause it's for you? But I've hurt myself, so I can't keep working on it. But I want to show you. Can I show you? Because <laughs> I didn't want to think that I had given up. And I, was I like, hurt. and I was like, I mean, do you really want to show me? And she goes, yes. yes, I really want to show you. And so she showed it to me yesterday, and it's so cute. It's going to yeah. be a pillow. Yes, a puppy and a kitten on some kind of fabric together. And I got on this in... It looks like a picnic blanket. It looks like it, yes, with flowers on it. Um, I got this in Rome in 2016 when Richard and I were there. It was a cute little shop. It had all kinds of needle crafts. So it had yarn, uh, and I did buy yarn there. Um, it had needlepoint. It had cross... It had... Anything that you could use a needle on, mm -hmm. um, it was in there. Mm -hmm. And the lovely woman didn't speak any English. Ah, oh, yes. I remember this. But we did just fine. I pointed. Mm -hmm. I counted on my fingers how many. I, you know, I looked at ball bands to see how much yardage and figured out how much yardage. And then I said, yeah, I wanted Oh, this, this. isn't the woman that you tried to do the French? No. With? No, oh, okay. No. Um and so I got this, and then there's one I got for myself, um, which happens to be Virgin Mary, because I was at a, a religious retreat, and mm -hmm. I found that I did my best meditation mm -hmm. to one of the pictures they had of the Virgin Mary. So I said, well, I'll do a needlepoint, mm -hmm. see whether needlepointing can be meditative. I think we'll it can see. be. Um, I haven't even started on that. So this I'm hoping to finish in the next two weeks. So we'll see. I've I done was going to say, is that is that also because the... Because cause I have a birthday in two weeks? Well, yes. This is ah. a birthday present. <laughs> yes, this is a birthday present. So Aww. I'd like to get it done. And make sure this needle is anchored. So I've yeah. been working on this. So I last week I had done most of this top part. It and looks just this past well. week I just finished the blanket. Yeah. Yeah, the blanket's pretty well, much done. I was going to say, I mean, and you got the top of the the, the dog, dog and and doggy's nose and you started on the cat. I mean, well, I Well, where I am now with the dog, I have three three um colors of the brown. Yes. This is DMC mm. cotton that is not sold in the US. Mm. It is sold in Europe. Uh. So it because I got this in Rome, we were estimating how much I needed. So I had to order from Etsy additional pieces to get enough of the white to finish white and black to finish bordering around and then to do the black in between. Oh my word. Um, yeah. So because the, these scrims were, it didn't say how much of what color you needed. Yeah. It just has the colors printed down the side. And so this lovely woman, this lovely Italian woman, was guesstimating 
how much yardage I would need. And I thinking, well, I'm sure I can get embroidery a cotton when I'm in the US. This is not a problem. This is matte. Oh. Our embroidery threads are shiny. Yeah. Yeah, this is matte. Well, this is also because they also have the DMC wools. So this, this is, is cotton. cotton, matte cotton. Matte cotton. So, yes, this oh. is for Europe. Um, but anyway, this is what I'm working on. I imagine I'll be watching a lot of television this week, at least on Wednesday, because I'm going to be watching the inauguration. Um, I am too. I'm very excited. Very excited. And I'm hoping there won't be much hoopla going on. We, um, we are hoping for no more unrest. Hoping for no more unrest. Um, so anyway, I'm hoping to get a lot of this done. With it. Look, maybe I can get the dog done. We'll see how much I can get done. I already have a pillow form. And I was about to ask because you showed me the back and you showed me this and then I was like, wait, doesn't it need a pillow form? I have a pillow form. Good. Ah, I have a pillow form and Good. I have fluff. You do have fluff. And I you have, found more fluff. I found more fluff. So I'm pretty sure that fluff is my fluff. No, not necessarily. <laughs> if you want to use some, you certainly may. Okay, well. I and if, to... Yes, if you want to take one, you can take one. Anything to get it out of the house. Yes. <laughs> not right. I'll, I'll take it next week, maybe. All right, not so this maybe week. after I fill your pillow. Well, yeah. And then I, I, had, I saved a length of velvet, black velvet, to back it so that it'll be nice and soft yeah. on the other side. So that is what I was hoping to finish, if not next week, then the week after. And I have been working on it pretty hard. You said you have injured your thumb because of it. Both thumbs hurt. Because you're pulling, mm -hmm. but you know. Again, I <laughs> oh, am and well I loved, poke, and I acknowledge poke it. A hole. See that? Oh yeah. Yeah. So normally I'm poking a hole in this mm -hmm. with the knitting. This is the finger I poked a hole in with the needle, and I know that they have thimbles. leather thimbles. I have yet to be able to get one that feels comfortable on my finger. Mm. That I'm willing to have it stay on my finger. We will have to. Anyway, well, I've got one that looks almost like the one that what's it Bernadette? Thing? Bernadette made. I don't know. I think I'd have to have gloves or something mm. to to do it. Anyway, and then mm -hmm. I didn't work on my uh, Swedish or Norse mittens at all. So okay. they remained. This one remains the same. Yes. As I said, I focused on my mom's mittens, got them done. Power which is good. Go. Which is good because her birthday is... Tuesday. Tuesday. And then I worked on this. Yes. I am so intrigued by this. Like, I want... It makes me want to make one so bad. So this is the hem right here. So you are it's, it's not binding cute. off. You are knitting or purling two together at the edge. And that's what's forming that lower edge. Yeah. It's got a nice little detail. It looks very finished. It looks yeah. very nice. I'm uh, quite pleased. Yeah. So I'm not sure how much more I have to go me in terms of the pattern, mm. but um, it's, it's coming along. What I found I like for my short rows is honestly I like the wrap and turns mm. um, because I'm finding with what I was trying to do as German short rows, I'm ending up with, <clears throat> with ending holes. up with holes or bigger spots. I think yeah. you can see them. Anyway, uh, I like the double stitch that they do in these well, socks. When you talk about the double stitch, that's actually putting the double wrap on the next one. No, the wrap so and it's, turn. it's so if you were gonna do one here, you would bring that up. Yeah. And then you would go like this, and you just have a double stitch there. Like it would actually just match because it'd be on the purl side. So hold on, I did that wrong. So it would be bringing it through. And you'd put it on the needle, and then you'd just turn around and go back. Okay, but what I'm saying is that puts the same number of extra loops as the wrap and turn does. I thought about that. The wrap mm. and turn has it on this side. That double stitch has it on this side. Well, I was going to say, the it also has it, so it has the same tension as the stitch next to it. 
Whereas the wrap and turn, I find sometimes is a little bit tighter because you're just wrapping it. I've been, when I change over to wrap and turn, I stop having the holes. Okay. So I am not doing my, what was my German short row anymore mm -hmm. um, because it, it just didn't work out well for me. Mm. Just one of those things. So this is moving on to completion. Um, it looks really good. I'm really I've, pleased. I have one in my queue that I'm now like, ooh. Quite pleased. And I should have more than enough yarn. So I will have some baby alpaca left over. And I thought, you know, it would be fun if I could figure out how to make it the sweater like this for Chloe. There might be a small person's version. And not, I think I can figure it out. Right. Just make, <laughs> yeah, just do yeah. the math. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think that'd be super chic. I think <laughs> I think my cousin would lose it after I gave her that burgundy sweater. I gave her the burgundy sweater, and she goes, oh, "You're such a chic little Parisian baby." <laughs> so yes, yeah, she about would be, her own kid, you know. She would be very chic. Oh, very that? chic. Um, so we only we only only work, on chic. work with the most chic of uh, things. Clothes. Yes. Whoops. So that is what I have been working on. Um, I did not touch my own counted cross stitch mm. at all. So I've done my mother's counted cross stitch. I've done needlework for you, but I haven't touched my counted cross stitch. And I'm dying to get back to it. So I need to finish the needlepoint. Mm -hmm. um, and then that will be the last of presents for other people. I can finish that sweater. That's a, That would be a... Not a whip, really, because it was just the yarn that had been hanging around for two years. Mm. Um, but that would be done. I'm hoping that the holes or the extra spaces that were caused by the German short rows, that the way I did them, which was probably wrong, um, will block out. Will block out. With any luck, it will block out. Um, and then I've got several pairs of socks here. Mm -hmm. And I've got this lovely boucle that yeah. I pulled out 10 yards but didn't take it downstairs yet to weigh it so slowly the wheels turn um but it's it's coming it really is so i'm really pleased with that got a little bit more thrown out from the sewing room downstairs i think uh well i know i got rid of a lot of the the well the box had buttons one of my friend's mothers was a sewer one of my friends mother single mother friends Apostrophe S was a sewer, Martha Phillips. Mm -hmm. And she had her stockpile of fabric and zippers and buttons and all of this stuff. And she had rotary cutters. Well, the rotary cutters were all rusted. And so I took them with the idea that I would throw them out. So I finally finished throwing out the last of those. I've got to throw out the rest of those blades. Yes. Um, I'm saving most of the buttons because the buttons look fine. Mm -hmm. And so in that big plastic box that had her buttons, I put the rest of my buttons. Good. And um, thread that I had in the bottom drawer. So the mm -hmm. two bottom drawers on that left-hand side are now empty. Oh, wow. And I've got, I think, one or two more plastic boxes, the small kind, uh, that I can put the top, the center drawer and the mm -hmm. top drawer, which are tinier drawers mm -hmm. in and get rid of that desk um, so that desk can go okay. um, my plan is to get one of those sewing cubes that has drawers and then the top flips out and becomes a gate leg table okay put the sewing machine on um, so the desk can go and then I figure I would bring the sewing machine accessories mm -hmm. like the embroidery arm that's like this big yeah that will come up here and go in the closet. Okay. So that will be good. Um, I don't have to take my machine, right? Like I folded up your machine. I'm telling good. you, that, that foot, I couldn't get it to retract. So yeah. finally it retracted, came around, whacked me mm -hmm. in the hand. I've got blood spurting. Mm -hmm. Your father's going, what's wrong? What's wrong? It was hysterical around here. But I, yes. I have injured myself with that so many times so because new, it just is a frustrating the machine. The new rule is to wear gloves when yes. trying to deal with that retractable, retractable foot. So I, I folded up your machine. The machine is in the carrier. Okay. So that's fine. I'm not going to, you know, get crazy about that. Um, okay. It's just, yeah. Because I think there's room in the closet here. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's pretty good. 
Yeah. And then when I finish that black and white sweater that I can circle back around to the cotton towel that's on mm -hmm. the weaving loom, get that finished off so mm -hmm. it's not in pieces. Um, cause I'm using the one that, that I've made. I'm using the washcloth and the towel nice. that I've made. So I find it's, they're so soft and, um, they're really nice for, for patting dry your face after you wash it in the morning. You're one of those Clairsonic mm -hmm. brushes, which has been great in getting rid of that dead skin. Um, that's the winter skin mm -hmm. and then patting it with that soft cotton towel. I love it. So that's really good. Yeah, hairs are all over the place. Yep. I was listening to Bernadette or one of the other vintage sewers, and they've talked about hair rats, mm -hmm. which is a collection of hair that you would find on a brush. And so, you know, it takes time. And I'm thinking, it would take me four weeks. That would be it. Maybe. With what I'm pulling out of my yeah. brush, I have a lot of hair. I mean, me I'm not worried too. about losing l losing hair. Yeah. Um, Because I've got you a lot of You also have a very high... Oh, yeah. Always no, have. but I, I know. Always I only have. noticed mine recently, and I didn't think mine was that high. But looking at yours... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's not. But anyway, so I don't worry about losing hair because there's a lot of hair. I love... Really? Oh, speaking of Really? Which, really? We're... I love my new hair dryer. Oh. I love my new hair dryer. It's a Dyson Airwrap, and you guys have seen how curly this hair can be. Now I can wash my hair, dry my hair, and get my hair flattish and get out the door in an hour. Wow. I am bowled over. I, I did tell you that Dyson does thing. a great. Love this thing. And it's not so hot that it burns your ears. Yeah. You know, uh, I just love it. Just love it. I might get the smaller brush attachment. Okay. Um, because then that will do a nice flip on the ends. But, oh my goodness, I love it. So, if you're on the fence about it and would like to get it, let me tell you, I think it's great. How many times have you burnt your ears while you're trying to style your hair or, or dry your hair? I can't tell you how many times. I can't tell you how many times I've had ear burns from the hairdresser. So, this is, this is big news. Um... And they tell you where to touch and where not to touch so mm -hmm. you don't burn your fingers because obviously you, you are dealing with hot air. Mm -hmm. But, oh my, I love it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, and I used it when I was here at Christmas. Yes. It's really nice. It's really nice. Yes. I, I do like a Dyson hair dryer. I do. Um, They work. They do. And so. for those of us who have very thick hair, like yes. you've seen mine, seen it. Um, it dries it. Very quickly, very quickly, which is really nice, really delightful. And then you have then you have the styler part on mine. Mm -hmm. It gets because mine will poof out and yes. do the, the the curl thing <laughs> look like a Brillo brush. Um, and then in no time, I mean, I section it off into eight sections mm -hmm. and run the the brush through it and twice, twice each section, and it's done. It's nice. done. Very nice. Very pleased. Very, very pleased. So, you're working assiduously on something, and she was I going am. to finish. I it's was. my fault. I There's was. a show on television that I want to watch at 10 o'clock. It was going to be done, y'all. I was going to have a finished sweater to show you guys from the beginning. Fault. It's my fault. Well, also because you wanted to see Zelda, me play Zelda. Yes. And then I couldn't beat the shrine. And yeah, then we, we had, had to have dinner. With the monster. It was... It was very frustrating. It was very frustrating. So it says to me that when and if I get a Switch, I can't play Zelda by myself because there's just no way I'm going to be able I to I feel do like these. it's going to be like Bioshock where it's going to be like, okay, Elizabeth, I can't do this one. <laughs> yeah, really. Or or my favorite is you'll get to a point where you've decided that you can't do it and you'll wait for me to come over and you go, can you beat this part? Exactly. Just this part and then give it back to me? That's right. Which I'm fully prepared for. Bioshock scared the pants off of us. <laughs> well, it scared the pants off of you. And every you were a little scared too. I yeah, I'm not gonna say I wasn't. It's it's a scary it's it, it's a little psychic well, trauma. Yeah, a little. Um and so uh but it was very funny because mom really enjoys um exploring yes. worlds in video games. And so she'd go exploring and then all of a sudden you'd hear the the noise for the creepers to come out or the the splinters or whatever they're called and she'd 
smack me in the solar plexus with the control <laughs> and go, here, your turn, <laughs> kill it. <laughs> yeah. Because I get too flustered, I forget how to hit somebody. <laughs> Which is funny because I get flustered too. And in um, with the switch on in Breath of the Wild, if you start to grip your controller and move around, my thumb d- tends to just press it, and that means you crouch. As in submission. Which isn't well. I mean, or like duck, which isn't so great when you're trying to like run away from the danger. <laughs> so yeah, um, we're, we're working on that. that. We're working through it. We're working through it. <laughs> Um, it is something I've learned about myself. Um, I have also learned that, or not learned, but I have re- I have remembered how much I really enjoy video games, but also how I am much slower than my contemporaries. Um, I'm just not, I, I acknowledge that my hand-eye coordination is decent, but not. I think I should go ahead and just order not that not. one for me. Yeah, you should just get it. No, I think no, you no. should just get it. Because I haven't gotten my Christmas present to me, though. that would help a lot. <laughs> oh, sh- I'll do that before I leave. Right. I didn't. It has been a whack know, three yeah. weeks, it's so I just with your, with your journey south and with my journey south and the job, and because so then I can say, oh, she paid for it. Yeah, I can. Yeah, let yeah. me know bef- then we'll, when we're we'll done order. here. I'll do it. I think um, Walmart. Okay. When and Animal Crossing, I think will be fun. Yes, I think you'll enjoy it. Now yes. that you've seen the the one on Switch, I played the one on the iPad, and I found it to be insipid. Was the how yeah. you described it yes. to me? Yes, it was insipid. Um, but when she's playing it on the Switch, it seems to be better. I'll let you know. I discovered I can't go snorkeling. I know. Oh my goodness. It's very exciting. Can't wait till next week. I know. It's very exciting. <laughs> um, it's ridiculous. Like, I was just like, I was talking to my boyfriend. I was like, babe, I want to go swimming. I know you can go swimming because you have told me this. Do I have to wait for a certain time? And he's like, I don't think so. And I, and he goes, I mean, I can look at it. And I'm already Googling it by this point because I was very frustrated, frustrated because I wanted to go swimming. And I was like, oh, okay. All I have to do is this. And he was like. I guess that's what you're doing tomorrow. I was like, you bet I am. <laughs> so it's a good thing we're, we're enjoying our Christmas presents. Well, yes, that. And I was going to say, you know, I don't think, I don't think it, it would be the same if we didn't um, still have to be so distant. Um, right. Because I can lose an evening right. to Zelda. I can lose, you know, two e- an evening or two a week. And it's not like I have come back, and it's not, you know, I can log off of work. see, and I'm less likely to play it on the TV. I'm much more likely to play it, um, the tabletop version, or just the the Switch by itself. Mm -hmm. Because I like to play my video games, watch the television, Mm -hmm. and have my knitting in my lap. I do have to say, I think for Breath of the Wild, it might be better to play tabletop versus in your hands. Because, especially for, like bow and arrow shooting mm-hmm. I think that's a better mechanic when you can well you said you couldn't play Zelda on the handheld you can and you can play like it's better to play it on the TV because the text boxes right are very small when they're on I the, think I have the, a different reaction though if it's closer than when it's right away. but I'm just so we'll see well we will figure that out we'll investigate. um but mom is trying to say is that because we, we had things to do today, and that got a bit waylaid by the fact that, actually, Second Church had a very long sermon, and then Dad decided... Oh, it was a stem winder. It was. Um, and then Dad decided today was the day we were taking down the tree, so that yes, took that, a lot of our day um, that was not planned It was for. well put away. This is yes. the first time in his life he's been involved with putting away the tree. With putting it up and taking it down. Yes, yes. A whole new world for him. Mm-hmm. He, he gets to learn why we are so loath to do it sometimes. Um, but uh, because of that, then I didn't do as much knitting today as I had hoped, um, which means putting on the hem of the test knit that I am... It looks gorgeous. She tried it on earlier. I will, it does look gorgeous. I will put it on over this top in okay. just a second, but I have this much more of the bind off to do. How much? This much. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. That's not bad. So, um, 
we, we are just waffling here while I do this because mom wanted to get us recording so she could watch the show. CNN and I also show. don't need you to be staying here so late because you're working tomorrow. I that am. was the aegis of the question I asked earlier. So, tomorrow when Wednesday are federal holidays, are you working? I am. And she is because it's construction. Mm -hmm. uh, and apparently the unions don't have it off, so they don't have it off. Yeah, because our sites are open. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, I oh, think... and Richard and I got COVID appointments. You did get we your did. vaccine appointments. If you live in New York, what we did was we went through the New York State. We tried the Nassau And if you County. are within the guideline, like if you are eligible by the, na by the state... Well, yes. Um, we are. Regulations. You so, all are, yes. There's a questionnaire that you have to answer, and one of this is put in your birth date. And mm -hmm. the birth date for us is what makes us eligible because we're over 65. Yep. So um, she had texted me when I was at physical therapy on Tuesday, um, and then I thought, well, I'll just wait till I get home. But then I tried doing it in the car. If I had been able to do it at physical therapy where I had the internet, I might have actually gotten appointments for this week, but by the time we got home, things were totally messed up on the state's website. It took us until yesterday morning, Saturday morning, um, got up and into the system at about 9, 9.15, and now Rich and I both have appointments at Aqueduct on March 21st, which is my dad's birthday. Yeah. So... I mean, could we get them earlier? I mean, I could start trolling the sites and seeing if anything opens up. But quite frankly, right at the moment, I think we're okay. But we'll just, who knows what my mind will tell me, you know, by yes. Friday. But, what, but um, we'd have to have two mm -hmm. so that it, we're both on the same day. Yes, yeah, so that you then also get the second one the, on same, the same day. day right. Um, but what you had said was that you're, you are employing all of your best... Um, in concert ticket. Concert ticket and yarn 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 update and you know yarn ticket event ticket ticket skills. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So and, and if anyone else is looking for it, you know, just I don't know. I, I'm I was describing it like, you know, use that F five button, you know, the refresh. Uh but also, you know, I don't know, every so often I'll notice that someone had an update and I'm a few hours late and I'll go check just Cause yeah, because maybe sometimes there's something people, left over. People are getting appointments at different places, and then mm -hmm. they go back in and cancel their original appointment, which is, I think, how we got March 21st. Um, if Richard had been amenable to driving at the Plattsburgh, <clears throat> we could have had our shots today. And that's 400-plus miles. It would have been an eight-hour drive. Nine. I think Plattsburgh is a nine-hour drive. Anyway, it would have been a long drive up there to get them, and I was okay for that. And, but he said, well, what happens in three weeks when we have to go back and it's upstate New York and it could be snowing? Mm -hmm. And I thought that was a valid point. Um, I said, of course, well, we could get a hotel room and we'll just stay for three weeks. And we can investigate the Dinger Lakes and we could do all kinds of stuff. <gasps> that would be fine. Let's oh pack. Oh, my God. <laughs> of course you did. And he said, no. Um Oh, what a spoil sport. I know. I, I mean, it's been How years, dare. decades. We went up there before you were born. So it's been 32 years since we've been in the Finger Lakes. How dare he? I know. If I hadn't, he said, actually, he said that if we hadn't gotten appointments by Monday, tomorrow, that we could drive to Plattsburgh. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, but Platts, even Plattsburgh's filling up. So just try different times during the day. Um, yes, it can be very um, frustrating, but the same is true of getting tickets to India Untangled. You know, or uh, Needles Up. Or Needles or, Up or um, any of those yeah. uh, other than Rhinebeck, where Rhinebeck has the open fields. Um, and we have to be right on the target, and we have to keep trying and all that kind of stuff. So, well, and some even even some of the classes for Vogue Knitting Live or Vogue oh, yeah, when they were they, in person, they sell out very quickly. So you have to be right there uh, to get them. In fact, Vogue had gone to only opening up Thursday classes, and then a day later would open up the Friday classes. Remember that last year? No, they opened. That was no, they opened up um, certain packages early, and then they added. A package, but then or two. they also really. Yes, I didn't know that they did. Um, where you could 
register for the individual classes on a Thursday and then the Friday, then the I Saturday. Didn't, yes. I don't remember so, that. um, you know, it, it's it's just like that. So those of us who have gone to yarn conferences and yarn festivals, we can do this because we're used or, to it. Or stocked a Volan Vine or a <laughs> Spin Cycle or who else has some really hot or right. or a Lola Bean update. Oh yeah. Or a Hohe bag update. Any of those mustache yarn. A mustache update. Yeah. Like if you you want you we get it. Ahead and do this. Yeah. Um, so it's what Very I've heard similar. from people is just be persistent. Yes. Um, and you know, even if you think you can't get one for a while, just register. Check. Just register, check. get an appointment. Um, but then keep checking. Um, because you never know when someone else is going to cancel their appointment. Exactly. And I think that's what happened for Richard I. Well, I have mine at 9.30 in the morning. His is at 2.30 in the afternoon. He's so excited. He gets to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> so, and, and he'd say, oh, I said, oh, I can get one for March 16th. And he says, wait a minute. I said, I can't wait a minute. He goes, yes, you can. So by the time I actually clicked through, it was gone. Oh. They go very, very quickly. So when you see it and this, it's reasonable... Click on it and you get it. Look at that. That's lovely. That is just gorgeous. And I love the subtle tonality of it. Yeah. So this is the stereography knit or the stereography sweater um, pullover from Meiju KP. Um, I tested gorgeous. it. It's awesome. Um, my only comment is to definitely check your gauge. Um, because my gauge, I don't have my swatch up here, met gauge. Um, but her gauge is in stockinette, Not which in is only for a row before and after the pattern. Then you have the contrast stripe. So, so one row, two row, two rows. So that's four, five, six rows. You have six rows between each pattern that is in stockinette. Um, so that's my only comment, um, because I... For my size that I knit, I should have only used 900 yards of this olive main color. I used all 1,200 yards of it, um, and I didn't even make adjustments for my sleeves. Um, if I probably would have made them about an inch longer uh, if I hadn't been concerned about yardage. Really? Um, they look plenty long. Yeah, but I kind of like them because it's so long. I would have liked to have them here. Oh, that's, a, yeah. that's a. There was a weak spot in the yarn, right. so I ripped it and put a. Yeah. But yeah. Magic wanted it. Yeah. So I'm really excited about it. Um, I don't think. It looks lovely. I don't think the color work pulls anywhere no. except for slightly up in here. Well, you but I had a think to block I will it. be able to block that out. Um. It's no shaping in it, so it is a little boxy, um, but I think it'll be really good over tights and just wearing it, like, over leggings. Yeah. Um, super comfy. But it's Very nice. done, y'all. I finished it. So that's super exciting. Um, Very good. So, yeah. So, that's something I've been working on this week, um, or at least for the last... Well, like, since Thursday, I've been really trying to work on it pretty um, mm -hmm. steadily. Yes. Um, because Mom got me a planner for Christmas, and it has my initials on it. Um, and it's from um, Escape to the Chateau. The couple that bought a chateau in France and now has it open as an event space. Well, not this year, event space. Uh, but they, they have a television show on British television which you can find on YouTube mm -hmm. um, and what they took on with that house is just amazing mm -hmm. so um, I guess I didn't put it on my monthly goals um, but when you every month here I'll show you a blank one because that's probably a better idea um, you have your month and then you have monthly goals to do shopping list and things to remember um, and so for this month I had kind of decided to put some goals for um, knitting and um, one was finish my jig shawl which I did I put the um, I cord on but I didn't bring it sorry I forgot that um, and then three 
finished the three pairs of socks that I started in December. So number two, done. Um, and I guess I didn't put this on here, but um, one of the Ravelry um, groups I'm in, we're doing a what makes you feel good mm -hmm. along. Um, it doesn't matter what craft, um, but my list for January, because of course I make lists, because that's <laughs> yes, what I do, um, includes uh, finishing this, finishing those socks, um, and you know, just finishing things um, that I had wanted to finish in 2020, but the end of 2020 got even more hectic than yeah. the previous 11 months. <laughs> um, so I you know, wanted to, you know, so I'm really excited actually to have this sweater done. Um, cause now I feel like I can actually move on and get some other stuff done. Yeah. So it, it does, I think Sounds that'll block great. out. I think it will I think too. that'll block out. Um, so yeah, so this is done and it's warm. So I'm actually going to keep it on. Oh, I was, just about right. to, I was just about to take it off and I'm like, oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm cozy. Maybe not. Maybe not. Um, so I guess it's time to talk about what has come in the mail. I didn't get anything in the mail, I did I? I got a lot of things in the mail. A lot. All right, let's see. So, remember, I don't remember, I think I mentioned last week how I had a pair of earrings yes. that had, I had said that they, or UPS had said they'd been delivered. Well, they hadn't been, and so I, I put in a claim, and I was like, hey, they're not here. I do not have them in my possession. And then I reached out to the designer and I said, hey, by the way, I have put in a claim with U UPS or USPS. If you ever have them up for sale again, I'll be happy to purchase them again. You know, I wasn't asking for a free pair. I just was like, you know what? Like, this is not on you. No. Um, and you had ordered it several weeks before I had Christmas. ordered it at, like, Thanksgiving. Mm. Um, and so... She responded on Tuesday, I think, is when I ended up going to, you know, she responded and I went downstairs one last time to check the mail and oh, they were there. So it's a pair of earrings. Um, it's a slice of bacon. And a fried and egg. And a fried egg. <laughs> so they're my brunch earrings for oh. when we can finally do brunch again because I love brunch. It's one of my favorite meals because I just love brunch. I don't know exactly why, but, but I do. do. Okay. So I'm I'm very excited about them. They're really beautiful and they're really light, which I'm really excited about. Good. So those came. Um, very and, clever construction. I know. Um, and then the yarn I ordered from Magpies arrived. Ooh. Yeah. So I thought that this was going to be a much lighter kind of pinky purple more skin tone colored um, than it is. Um, so it was supposed to be for um, Shelly Can's Threadbare Knit Along or Crochet Along, Craft Along, um, where she was having, you know, where she inspired people to knit things in their skin tone to Ooh. make skin suits in a, very, in, a, in a purely wonderfully weird way yeah. that all turned out beautiful. And so I thought this was going to be lighter and more skin toned. It is not. It's it's more freckle toned. Um, right. This is usually, this is essentially what, in yarn form, what happens when we go and get our makeup done and someone uses one of those detectors on my skin instead of just bringing out essentially the lightest shade. Um, and then they put it on and they go, oh, that's way too dark. I'm like, yeah, you got a freckle. <laughs> yeah. I told you it was going to be too dark. I saw it in the bottle. Um... So, but it's beautiful. It's called Wicked Game. This is Solstice DK. It's 50% um, merino, 25% cotton, 25% silk. Ooh. Yeah. And I'm thinking it's going to grow up to be another artichoke French. Very nice. Yes. Very nice. Yes. Um, now that so, you finished the one. You yes. Know. I need another. Mm -hmm. It's so lovely to wear that sweater. Um, and then... Um, they're periwinkle, periwinkle, periwinkle yarns, periwinkle sheep, um, was having a D stash and I just went and took a look, you know, cause you never know when people D stash what they're going to be D stashing. And so why not take a look, right? It's periwinkle. I'm trying to, trying to make sure. Yeah, yes. The periwinkle sheep. Um, 
and they were hosting a um, D stash to help someone else in the community. And so they had a skein of solstice in Fior de Latte. Um, so it is in, it is a very, um, it's a kind of yellowy white yeah. um, in person. I really like it. Um, so I think I'm just glad to have it in stash um, so I can use it for something in color work maybe. Oh, absolutely. Um, so I am kind of, since it is a boyfriend friendly uh, yarn, I am... Um, choosing wisely. Choosing wisely and also um, kind of trying to build up that stash because um, I do think it will be very wearable. Yes. The yarn. Um, so those are the things that I was waiting for. Um, and then, so LDH is a scissors company that was doing a promotion, uh, like a contest for their prismatic scissors and I just I always look um, at them because they're just so pretty um, and Untitled Thoughts UT she um, she really loves them um, so I have been looking at them for a little bit um, and they're just so pretty they're very pretty they're very pretty um, so these are actually seconds of their nine inch really? shears yeah so I got them. So I, I think why it's because think? of that, maybe. But I don't know why it's oh, their second. Oh, yeah. They're heavier than my shears. Yeah. No, you're the ones downstairs? The black ones. Oh, the black ones, yes. I was going to say, you're big gingers. No. No, but the black ones. Yeah, but I think your black ones are eight inches. They are. Yeah. Well, um, I like, I, um, we all, I also got the scissors this a year from whites yeah in, in england i had looked up uh scissor companies in sheffield england uh, mm -hmm. which are it's an area of england that is known for knives and scissors yeah and the company oh, and there's I, some scratches there I that's see. fine um and i chose whites and i got a pair of the ebony black, black yeah. rather than the gold they actually were having a Centennial or a mm -hmm. special birthday version of their shears in gold, Ooh. but they were going to be twice as expensive. Oh, I said, I don't need yeah. that. The black ones, I really love cutting with them. They have a nice heft to them. They yeah. are very sharp and very nice. Yeah, so, so I'm very excited about these. We now have kitchen shears from Cut Go, and we have nice dressmaker shears, so we're doing we quite have, well. We have a lot of dressmaker shears now. Yeah. I start throwing out the ones that don't cut. I mean, that's a good idea. Yes. Um, and then on Instagram, um, Dawn Catherine. Oh my goodness, what's her name? Um, I'm looking it up. It is Dawn Catherine Studios, um, who is an illustrator. Mm -hmm. Um, had this one had this bag up in a um, Instagram like stories sale. And I thought it was... It I was, knitted a large swatch. Yes, I <laughs> knitted a gauge swatch. Ugh. It's very funny because I, of course, always knit a gauge swatch. Um, because that it helps prevent problems later. Yes. Um, so I was really excited to, to grab that. Um, um, I think that's it. Um, the only Not other... Bad. Yeah, so I had a very good mail week. Um, oh, I also want to say, last week I burnt my hand yes. here on that MagSafe um, mm -hmm. charger of my um, MacBook. Mm -hmm. um, I looked it up when it was still hurting two days later mm -hmm. uh, and still pink. Um, I looked it up on Google and they said, if your charger starts getting hot like that, it's done. Mm. and order a new one so i did order a new one i oh, got good. it out in 24 hours and it's not getting hot at all so mm. obviously a cord or a piece of wire in the magsafe that i had originally broke yeah and so it was overheating so mm. if yours is overheating get rid of it and get a new one yeah oh and i forgot to mention i when i finished these socks mm -hmm. on friday I then picked up my house stripe socks and i finished the cuff on those and i picked up and I started the second sock. Fantastic. Um, so I am one, like I have, I think, two or three more rows, and then I start the heel on this one. Mm -hmm. um, I have found that having 
Um, socks to knit on during work is really nice for me um, because... During meetings? During meetings or if I just need a minute to like... Focus? Or just like, I don't know if you, you experienced this, but like where everything is just moving very fast and you're like, okay, hold on. What do I have to do? And like, let's look, not look at the screen. Let's like focus slightly away. I had a different job where I had people at my door. Mm, true. <laughs> true. They, when I retired, they said, well, didn't you ever explore Riverdale? I said, no, mm -hmm. because you were always at my door. Yeah. I always had people at my, there was a parade at my door. Mm -hmm. So I'm not complaining, but I never had spare time to go wander around Riverdale. Hmm. True. Yes. Um, but yeah. So that's, those are things I've been working on. And then I brought some of the fabric in that I brought that you had destashed to me. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking yes. that this, come on, come on, would make a great jumpsuit. It's a very small hound's tooth. It's a lovely fabric. It is. I believe it's a wool. It's a yes. very light wool. Yes, it's a wool. Yes. So we'll see. Maybe. I'm I'm debating about it. Because I do I do love jumpsuits. You do, yes. I don't know why I love them so much, but I do. Um, they're just so easy. And they look so put together. They look so very put together, but in going to the bathroom, my jumpsuit loose ends up on the floor. Um, and I hate the idea of my clothes pile up on the, on floor, the floor just to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Reasonable. Yes. Um, but yeah, so I... If I had a snap crotch on the whole thing, that uh, would be a whole different story. That would be a whole different yes. story. Um, but yeah, I do think I am going to probably... Um, I'm going to try and cut out those joggers, though, this week. Okay. Put those together then next week when I come back. All right. Using one of our machines. Yes. Um, but yeah, I think... That may be it. That may be it. I think it might be time to weave in these ends. <laughs> and we I will... was lucky. I wove in the ends on my mittens as I went along. That is so, lucky. Yes. But I mean, I, I was I'm cutting off the end this. and I'm weaving in the ends on the needlepoint as I go along. Oh, so I look have at all those you. Ends. Yes. It's a lot neater that way. Oh, that's yes. good. Yeah. Yes, well, I just wanted to get it done. Absolutely. Um, so we will talk to you all next week. Yes. Bye. Bye.